from the city, the city is dead. I'm from the city, the city is dead. Hey guys, welcome to Pittsburgh. My name is Anthony. I appreciate you joining me for another one of these eBay What Sold videos. We're going to go over everything that I've been selling this last week on eBay. If you'd like to take a look at my store, feel free to go ahead and uh, click in the description. There is going to be a link there, but also scrolling below is the link to my store as well. So feel free to check it out. I am willing to work with you guys as far as accepting offers and stuff like that. I'm not real keen on crazy lowball offers, but if it's a fair offer, I'm more than happy to work with you. So feel free to go ahead and send those. I'm always putting new stuff up as well, so check back for new inventory. First thing that sold was this John Morant PSA 9. This is a rated rookie out of Donruss. Uh, I took a best offer of $30 on this one, plus shipping. Next item was this Trevor Lawrence this is a Crusade Green out of Prism Draft Picks that sold for $7 plus shipping. Sold a Terry McLaurin Blue Press Proof Rated Rookie for $3 plus shipping. Pretty sure that was a best offer. Sold this Oogie Boogie Pet Toy Squeaker Plush for uh, $17.90 plus shipping. Sold this uh, Disney Store exclusive Sully from Monsters, Inc. Uh, for $21.90 plus shipping. Sold this Steph Curry. Uh, this is a Hoops Premium Stock uh, Courtside Insert Hollow. Uh, took a best offer on this one of $4 plus shipping. Next card that sold. This one was an auction. Uh, sold for $151. Plus shipping for a Jamar Chase Elite Series rookie card. This sold for $5. Pretty sure this might have been a best offer. This is a hollow rated rookie out of Optic of Juju Smith-Schuster. Another best offer accepted here. This is an Isaac Okoro. Uh, this was SGC 1010 uh, out of Obsidian. Numbered out of 99 auto RPA of Isaac Okoro. $40 plus shipping for that one. Sold this Bianca Belair uh, NXT autograph, uh, best offer of $20 plus shipping on that one. Sold this Tua. I had a bunch of these. This was the last of my uh, Chronicles Tua's. Um, this one sold for $3 plus shipping on that one. Sold this numbered uh, Jalen Waddle for $1. It was numbered out of $199. It was a wild card. Sold this Kevin Garnett. Uh, for $5.44 uh, plus shipping. This was really cool one. This one was a power disc. This was one of those really old school uh, ones that you could put in a CD-ROM back in the day. So kind of cool if you ask me. Next one I sold was a numbered out of 50 green um, WWE Undisputed Shinsuke Nakamura for $5 plus shipping. This one was a uh, Isaac Okoro Orange Cracked Ice Prism. Sold that one for $3 plus shipping. Tim Duncan, numbered out of $2.99. This is a Prism Red. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was out of the Hobby exclusive that year. Uh, sold that for $3 plus shipping. Pretty sure that was a best offer. Sold this uh, Lord Tensai card for $12 plus shipping. Uh, this was out of Tops uh, Chrome 2020, numbered out of a 99. Sold this Tua was a base concourse uh, select card for $2.95 plus shipping. Sold this Kyrie Irving uh, Crusade rookie card for $3 plus shipping. Kyrie's market is super down right now, guys. It's a, it's a shame, too, with as talented of a basketball player as he is. Uh, his stuff is really taking a tumble. So here's a multi-quantity order. I did take best offers on all of these. Uh, however, this person never paid. So I did end up canceling the order and relisting everything. Uh, the Charlotte that is in this order resold for $45. Uh, the other two cards, um, the Charlotte Auto, I should say, resold for $45. The other two cards, the 
AJ Styles and the Charlotte patch uh, plate, those are still available. But I did get $45 plus shipping for this Charlotte. So that's pretty cool. Next one that sold was uh, Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. This is one of my favorite games for probably my favorite system of all time. Uh, love this game. I do have the uh, Mini and also a Retron, so I didn't technically need this. So uh, sold it for 15 bucks plus shipping. Next item was this little uh, Mickey Mouse uh, Hallmark itty bitty thing. Um, weird story with this one. Uh, when I was moving, I lost this one. So I ended up just replacing this with another item out of my store. So I think it was a park exclusive Donald Duck or something like that that I had. I ended up giving them instead. But unfortunately, sometimes that happens, guys, especially when you're moving across the country. Sometimes items get misplaced. And this was the smallest of the plush that I had. So lost that somewhere. It's probably still in L.A. But nevertheless, um, Took good care of the customer and they got an upgrade for free. Next item that sold was this Steph Curry, just a base card for $1 plus shipping. Uh, Curry's market's good. Uh, even like a little base card like this, you're still sure to at least make a dollar on. So uh, typically anytime I can get Curry's for free or next to nothing, I typically pick them up. Next item that sold was this uh, card of Brian Quinn from Impractical Jokers. I got $5 best offer on that one, plus shipping. This one was a Pat Fryermuth uh, Gold Extra Points rookie card. Um, this one was actually damaged by a one-touch, so I did disclose that. That's why it was so cheap. I wanted to make sure somebody that was a Fryermuth fan got a good deal, but I also wanted to make sure I wasn't going to get smashed with a return or whatnot as well. So I did uh, disclose, hey, this is cheap because the card is damaged. You're not going to get a 10 if you try to grade it. So just be forewarned. So did have a little bit of damage from a one touch. So I did disclose it and sold it cheap. Another card I sold was $2 for this CD Lamb uh, rated rookie out of Donruss. Next card that sold was this uh, 2021 Panini Illusions Superlatives Signatures. Uh, Vince Williams uh, from the Steelers numbered out of 99 autograph. Really cool. Got $7 for that plus shipping. Sold this RJ Barrett um, Hoops Premium Stock. This was one of the silver laser prisms. Uh, this was one of the uh, items that I started at a 99 cent auction and just let run. And I had several cards that were worth above a dollar start at 99 cents because I wanted to give people an opportunity to get deals and then come to my store and pick up multi quantity. So this guy just ended up getting the one, but it does end up working. You'll see people that pick up one item at um, auction, even if it's like a cheap card, they'll come and see what else you have. So been trying that more and more lately, guys. So again, I only got 99 cents for this one, but uh, again, it got more eyes on my store. Next item was uh, this rookie card of Donovan Mitchell. Uh, this is the rookie class insert out of Prestige. Um, got a best offer on this one of $2 plus shipping. Sold this one. I'm pretty sure this is a best offer as well of $10 uh, for this Darius Garland out of Goodwin Champions. It's a rookie memorabilia card, which is really cool. Um, fun fact with Garland, he's signed with Upper Deck. So autographs and special stuff like this can only be done through Upper Deck products. So um, that's why this is a little more desirable than you know, uh, it normally would be because this is an actual worn piece of clothing that Darius had provided to them. Next one that sold was, again, uh, more base cards. As you can see, two of them here, $3 each, Steph Curry. People collect Curry the same way I collect LeBron. People collect Curry, so I will continue to pick up Steph Curry cards because they continually sell for me each week. So I sold two of these base illusions cards for $3 each, so $6 plus shipping. Next item that sold was this uh, 1990 uh, Marvel's Universe card of The Thing. Got $2.25 for that in a best offer, plus shipping. Sold this relic card of Brandon Ingram. I did take a $2 best offer. I might have had that up for three or four. Um, I took a $2 offer, uh, plus shipping on it. 
pulled this uh, 1998 Upper Deck Choice Peyton Manning rookie card uh, for $9.90 plus shipping. Sold this relic, passing the torch, Bernie Kozar and Baker Mayfield, numbered out of $199. Got $7 for that one plus shipping. Sold this base Luka Doncic. Got $1 for it, plus shipping. Again, um, guys that are highly collectible are the type of guys I'm trying to put in my store because they drive the multi-quantity sales. Uh, one of the guys that's been phenomenal for me this year has been Jalen Hurts. I've been selling a ton of his. He's been driving a lot of sales for me. Next card I sold, this was another $0.99 cent auction that ended at $0.99. Cents. Um, it was a neon green die-cut concourse rookie card of chase claypool out of select got dollar 75 for this tyrese halliburton red cracked ice crusade insert rookie card out of prism draft picks another one that ended at 99 cents was uh this blue prism out of uh playoff of a rookie wave insert of Devontae Smith. Really nice card, especially for 99 cents. So there are some deals that are going out there, guys. And I'm going to continue to throw these 99 cent deals out there so that you guys can walk away with some nice value. Next card that sold was this Isaac Okoro. It took a $10 best offer on this one. And uh, it was a Illusions, uh, just rookie signs. Next one I sold was uh, Joe Burrow uh, out of Chronicles. It was one of the Chrome scorecards. It was a rookie. I got $6 for that one plus shipping. Next one that sold was a 92-93 Tops Archives. Michael Jordan got $9.75 for that bad boy. Now, these look like older cards, but the Archive series is an actual reprint series. So sometimes these can be confusing cards. You might think that you're picking up one card and then you get home. You're like, oh, wait, this is a 1992. What's going on there? So um, this is technically like a reprint type card of an older card. But I got $9.75 for that plus shipping. Next card that sold was a Optic Base Darius Garland rated rookie. I got $2 for that one plus shipping. Another awesome one. Uh, this was a stadium giveaway during COVID. Um, a lot of you guys know that I was a season ticket holder to the Cavs for a really long time before I moved to Los Angeles. And um, one of the things that they sent during COVID were stadium giveaways since obviously the season ticket holders weren't there to get them. So I had several of these sent to me during COVID and uh, sold this one here for $14 plus shipping. Next one, again, this is why I like to have multi quantities of cards sitting in my store. Uh, I did take a best offer on this one. I might have had these listed for $2 each. The guy offered me $1.25, but he would buy all three of them that I had. So again, I accepted. He got all three of them for $3.75 plus shipping. So these are the type of deals I like to make people. And that's why it's awesome to have a bunch of cards of people that are highly collectible because then you have collectors wanting to stack their favorite players like this. Another card I took a best offer on was $7 for this green LeBron mosaic out of 1920 mosaic. This is the MVP's insert of him and his Cavs uni. Have multiple copies of this already graded in the PC. So uh, again, this is the only time you'll ever see a LeBron up on eBay is if I have multiple copies. But again, $7 plus shipping. Next one was a $9 best offer on this Mark Henry autograph out of Goodwin Champions. I uh, got uh, the eBay standard shipping on that as well. Next item that sold was this Justin Herbert rookie card. This is just a contender's draft picks um, game day ticket insert. Got $2.25 for that one plus shipping. Did accept the best offer on there. And as you can see, that also sold with the 20% extra coupon. Now, anybody who is a repeat buyer of my store gets access to that extra 20% off. So if you guys are ever interested in uh, getting a little bit extra off, all you need to do is be a repeat buyer here at the store. And then I send out a 20% off coupon 
for your business back. Next item was this uh, green prism Zion Williamson um, out of 2122 prism. Great deal here. Again, this is to a repeat buyer. They did get the 20% off and they got um, a smoking deal on this one. Um, they only paid a buck for this card plus shipping. So really nice deal there on the Zion. Next card that sold. Uh, this was, uh, I believe, a best offer accepted on this one. Uh, Heinz Ward and Chad Johnson, Dole Relic, uh, numbered to 250 uh, Again, $4 for that plus shipping. This was another really nice sale. I pulled this one um, at the San Jose card show that was put on by Pat's Polls back in May. This was uh, the, the weekend revolution dropped. Uh, so Chef Marte and I had a box battle and your boy pulled the galactic case hit rookie card of Grayson Waller. Wish I would have sold it then because I would have made considerably more. Uh, but with the market kind of tanking out on wrestling quite a bit, I uh, still managed to get $65 plus international shipping to Australia. So I always love selling Australian themed cards to people in Australia. And Grayson Waller is an Australian wrestler. So it was really cool to see a uh, hometown hero going back home. Sold this Phil Jackson, took a best offer of 150 and this was also a extra 20% off deal. Uh, do have several more of these in the store, and I also have, I believe, a 1989 version of Phil Jackson's card as well. Uh, still available in the store for the cheap on the low low. Um, but again, really good deals can be had. Phil Jackson, one of the best coaches of all time for $1.50 plus shipping. Heck yeah. So this De'Aaron Fox, this is an optic base rated rookie. Got $4 for that one plus shipping. Looks like I still have one left in my inventory. Did sell, uh, looks like my last copy of my Tyrese Halliburton Hoops rookie card for $3 plus shipping on that one. Oh, actually, no, no, no. I sold three copies of this, each for $1 plus shipping. So he got three copies, each for $1 plus shipping. Next item was this um, variation of Ja Morant out of Contenders Draft Picks. Uh, this was sold with the extra 20% off sale for being a repeat customer. They paid $2 plus shipping on this. I sold this Ricochet autograph out of WWE Prism for $10 plus shipping. This was another international order. As you can see, the shipping was very expensive on that one. Sold my Wang, guys. So I sold this uh, Chronicles draft pick uh, card of Johnny Wang. And again, the only reason I kept this one is because it's literally, his autograph literally just says Wang. And I'm like a child, found that amusing. So <laughs> I thought that was cool. But I did end up letting it go for $4. It did go to a repeat buyer. So I'm really happy that one of my repeat buyers ended up with my Wang. Sold this one for $2, uh, again, to a repeat buyer. This was a 2016 Tops MLB debut medallions, Andrew McCutcheon. So McCutcheon's one of those guys that I collect, but I have been listing some of my PC to kind of upgrade to bigger and better things. And this was one of those things that went kaput. Again, guys, I do have 100% positive feedback on eBay. You can feel free to check my store. Just go and look up Pittsburgh, and you'll find this handsome son of a gun right there. Uh, feel free to send offers again. Like I said, I'm more than happy to entertain those. My buddies Chef Marte underscore cards and myself are putting together some higher end card auctions with some of his inventory. If you guys have gone back through any of the card videos that we've released on this channel, you know that Marty rips a lot of wax and he has some really high end stuff. So we are going to be putting together some auctions specifically for his collection. So make sure you guys hit subscribe and stay tuned for that. And we're also over on Whatnot now. So make sure you go and follow us on Whatnot at Pittsburgh. And we do giveaways there. Every single time we're live, every hour on the hour, we give away free slabs. So if you like graded cards, and better yet, you like free graded cards, make sure you come and follow me over there on Whatnot. 
Last piece of news before I let you guys go today, we are going to be doing a big giveaway for Christmas. A few of my subscribers I'm going to have randomly picked based off of a comment that has been left. Um, I posted a picture of my logo with a Santa hat the other day, and I did say in there that on Christmas Day, I'm going to be drawing uh, three winners, and I'm going to pick randomly three people that I'll announce that day. Uh, all you have to do is comment on that what your favorite sport is. So that way I know how to pull and pick which slab you're going to get that day when you win. So if you guys want to be involved in that, go to the community tab on the channel, enter that giveaway. And when we hit 4,000 on this channel, guys, we're going to be doing a huge giveaway with multiple slabs uh, all to one person for a huge grand prize. So make sure you guys subscribe and like share do all those fun things because as soon as we get there guys giveaway palooza coming to you appreciate you all watching until the next video may god bless you take it easy